All right, so scientific notation, when we are writing in scientific notation, remember, guys, that it is A times 10 to the N, and that A has to be more than one, but less than, more than a dollar, but less than $10, right? And N is the number of times we move that decimal. All right, when the number is very, very small, six tenths, six hundred, six hundred uh, thousand, six hundred thousand, six millionths, whew, that's a tiny, tiny number. So I've got to move this all the way to the back. Go up to the front there. All right. Don't put it 0.6. Don't put it in front of the 6 because that's 60 cents. That's not more than a dollar. It's less than a dollar. It's got to be more than a dollar and less than $10. Hold on. I'm going to say 6 times 10. How many spaces did I move? 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. So since that's a very, very tiny number, it's going to be 6 times 10 to the negative 6. Small numbers have negative exponents. Large numbers have positives. Looking at problem 2, where does my decimal need to go, guys? All right, so I need to put it right there. Remember, when you do not have a decimal, it's on the outside. So I'm going to say 5.4, $5.40. It's more than a dollar. It's less than $10 times 10. How many spaces did we move it? So 10 to the 6th power. Right? Which one should we do? Three, four, five, or six? Which one do you think? No, we're not doing We're going to do eight, but for right now, I'm going to do one more of these. All right. So five is 6.7. Is it more than, that's $6.70. Is it more than a dollar and less than $10? Yeah, so it's already in place times 10 to the, what would make that a 1? What exponent changes every number into a 1? 0. So that's going to be 10 to the 0 power because I don't want it to move. How many spaces do I want that decimal to move, guys? None. So my exponent has to be a 0. <coughs> All right, what's the problem with eights? It's more than 10, right? I can't, so I've got to make this 71 to 7.1, right? So I'm going to make this number smaller. So that means I have to do what to the exponent? If I make the number smaller, the exponent has to get... So I got it. How many spaces did I move the decimal? So I have to add one. So that's going to be 7.1 times 10 to the... All right, I'm going to go down to 17. These are in scientific notation, and I need to write them in standard form. So if I've made that negative, that's a really small number, but it's negative, so it's got to go. So 0 0.09. This has got to be here. So it's going to go 1 over, so 0.2. Yeah, 
you've got work to be doing. What about 20, guys? Eight oh four point right. So if it's got to move two spaces, then what am I going to have to add? Two zeros. So what is that? Eighty thousand four hundred. It's bigger. A negative exponent, you're going to be moving it to the left because you got to get bigger to go to zero. So if this is going up to zero, so it's gone, you got to move left. If this is coming down, you got to move right. All right. What about 21? How many spaces do I need to move? The decimal. For how many zeros do I need to add? Two. Because the six is going to take up one space. The second six is going to take up another. So I have two, six, six, zero, zero. 26,600. All right, what about 22? The one is going to take up one space. One, five. Now, you can put the zero in front if you want. 0 0.015. Okay, I'm going to stop this one here.